All right, there's two special cases that we need to be familiar with for a converging device. We need to know what happens when the object is at infinity and when the object is at the focal point. So let's start with when the object is at infinity. So let's say we have a converging device and uh, the object is at infinity. I'll draw a lens. So if we have this converging device, let's see what happens to our lens mirror equation. So when I get a plug-in for O, infinity. How does this equation simplify now? Um, 1 over f equals 1 over i. Because 1 over infinity is 0. Good. And then how does it simplify some more? Um. This equation has fractions. It would be simpler if it didn't have any fractions. Um, I over f. You could say that. That's right. That would be valid. We can short circuit that a little, though, because remember, once we only have one fraction on each side, the easiest thing to do algebraically is take the reciprocal of both sides. Once you only have one fraction on each side, the easiest thing is to take the reciprocal of both sides. But what happens when you take the reciprocal of both sides? What equation do you get here? Uh, you get, uh... What's the reciprocal on the left-hand side? Or F. Yeah. And what's the reciprocal of the right-hand side? I. OK. So I would say this is simpler than this equation over here. So this would be a good way to simplify that equation. We should already have known that the focal length equal to image distance. You can see from looking at this that these have to have the same denominator. But this confirms that the focal length here I equals uh, the uh, image distance. Uh, by the way, this is a converging mirror. So is F positive or negative? I'm sorry, we'll talk about a converging lens or mirror. So if it's converging, would F be positive or negative? F would be positive. So is I going to be positive or negative based on the equation? Positive. What does it mean when we have a positive I? It means that we have a real image. OK, good. Now, let's draw what this is going to look like in our uh, picture over here. Um, when the object is at infinity, the first thing to see is that when an object is at infinity, all of the rays come in parallel to the axis. When an object is at infinity, all the rays come in parallel to the axis. You can see that here. Here's an object that's very close to the lens, and these rays are obviously not parallel. But let's say that the object is much further away. Well, they're still not parallel, but you can see they're more parallel than they were before. Well, if this could really be at infinity, the two rays would be perfectly parallel. So this is something else we need to know. When the object is at infinity, the incoming rays are all P rays. The incoming rays are all parallel to the axis. all the rays will look like this, all parallel to the axis. OK, and where are they going to go out from? Well, we just saw that they're going to go through the focal point. The image will be at the focal point over here. Um, now, this is going to be a real image, which means it's on the same side as the outgoing light. So the image has to be over here. So we need to use this focal point. So this ray will go through the focal point. This ray will go through the focal point. This ray will go through the focal point. The rays from underneath will come through the focal point. the outgoing rays will all go through the focal point. OK, so when the object is at infinity, all the incoming rays come in parallel to the axis, and all the outgoing rays go out through the focal points.
Let's also figure out um, how big this would be. Well, the magnification is negative i over o. What am I going to plug in for i? Well, that's going to be the focal distance. And what do we plug in for o? Well, remember, we're assuming the object was at infinity. So what will the magnification be? It's going to be zero. What does that mean? It means that the image has been shrunk to a point. It means it's been shrunk to the point. It's been shrunk as much as it possibly could be. Shrunk to a point. You can see that from our picture. All of the rays are converging to the same exact point. It's just that whole image is just going to be this one point over here. This is kind of common sense. If the object is infinitely far away, it's going to be tiny. The image is going to be tiny. Uh, infinitely far away image uh, object is going to give us a, a tiny image over here. OK, so these are things that actually come up a lot on uh, exams. When the object's at infinity, the incoming rays are parallel to the axis. So the outgoing rays go to the focal point, and the image is shrunk to a point. Uh, we kind of showed that in the lens mirror equation, but that's also good to know. Um, let's take a look at our lens mirror chart up here. <coughs> We're doing with a converging device, and where are we in this chart? Well, aren't we way far out over here, right? Because we're at infinity, way far out past 2f. If you look at the chart here, notice that, remember, magnified is in the middle, and shrunk is on the edges. Well, something we didn't talk about was what that means is the further you go towards the edges of the chart, the more shrunk the image is going to be. And the further you go towards the middle of the chart over here, the more magnified it's going to be. In fact, if you're right at this point over here, the magnification would be infinite. If you were right here at the very middle of the chart, the magnification would be infinite, because this is the very middle of the magnification region. On the other hand, if you're way out here, totally far in, at infinity, totally in the shrunken region, the magnification would be zero over here. So that's good to know. The further we go to the sides, the sh smaller the image is. And the more we are in the middle, the more magnified uh, it's going to be. I have that a little bit in the handout. Uh, right at this point, um, if you put the object at the focal point, the magnification would be infinite. Maybe I should have also added out here, when it's at infinity, the magnification is zero. But you can add that yourself. Okay. I showed this for a converging lens, but it also worked for a converging mirror. Uh, all this stuff about the, uh, the rays. 